Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about how to get faster under the barbell. Get up and get down, get up and get Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get faster under the barbell, whether you're doing a clean or a snatch using a very awesome technique called the pull under. Now, before we teach you this technique, we have to first solidify our start and our end position. So I'm gonna let Chad take it away and talk about those. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very common question that I get. How can I get faster under the barbell? I hesitate. You know, the more weight I put on the bar, the higher my body stays, the more my feet jump out and turn out. And so, you know, that question comes and I know the expectation is for me to give them a drill to get faster under the bar. But the first thing I say is, can I see your squat? Can I see your start position? Because if your squat or your receiving position isn't prepared, then you're gonna be slow or hesitant under the bar. You need to assess and address that as needed. And we've talked about that a lot. There's a lot of information we have out on that kind of thing as well. Your start position, if your start position and or your movement up from your start position to the point where it's time to get under the barbell is not what it can be, then you're gonna be pulling under from not the best position or there could be some hesitation from that as well. So as Aaron said, assess your squat, and assess your start position and your movement from start position up to full extension. Now, if all that is good, you can start using a drill called the snatch pull under or the clean pull under where you're isolating the pull under portion of a lift. Here's the thing though, we wanna start off with most people by slowing that down before you can speed up, okay? So we're gonna do what's called a slow motion snatch pull under and you can do the same thing for the, the clean as well, okay? Isolating that part of the lift Understand that because we're moving slow, I want you to not really worry about what your feet, doing, or feet are doing, meaning that you're gonna keep them still flat on the floor right where they're at. We'll move them later, but for the slow motion portion, just keep your feet flat on the floor. I'm telling you to move slow here. It's hard to slow down to the extent that you need to, so keep that in mind. Make yourself move so slow that it feels wrong. Uh, whatever you need to do to, to truly slow down as much as you possibly need to. But I'm gonna start in the standing position here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use my pulling stance. I've got the mobility to go down into a squat with my pulling stance. Um, that's kind of where my squat stance is anyways. If you need to open up your feet up a little bit because you're going into a squat and not moving your feet out to that, that's okay as well, okay? So from here, since I'm moving in slow motion and pulling under, I need to lean back a little bit first so I can create space to go for the bar to go straight and go underneath the bar, okay? Step one is a slight lean back, hold that. Notice when I lean back, I'm not offsetting my hips forward uh, much. I'm gonna try to keep them in line with my feet and lean back from this position here, okay? Now slowly trying to initiate my knees and elbows at the exact same time. So if you need to use a PVC pipe for this one, to learn this, please do so. And I actually recommend that you start with the PVC so that you can get this slow movement and that simultaneous action of the knees and the elbows. All right, so that simultaneous action is really the main reason why we need to start with that slow motion version because for most athletes that start with the regular speed, they will pull up on the bar way too much, way too long before then going under the bar. So let me show you what that looks like. You see that big high pull while my legs are staying straight before I drop under, what that looks like uh, slowed down a little bit. And then finally you go under with your knees. We wanna keep from doing that. We don't want that happening in your snatch a big delay there. What we need is full extension and then that simultaneous bend in the knee and the elbow to pull under. So we'll attach a video to this that is showing a regular snatch, regular heavy snatch with someone pulling under, an elite athlete pulling under with that simultaneous bend in the knee and the elbows. And that's ex absolutely what we're working with that slow motion. Sorry, I'm out of breath with that. Slow motion version, but once you get that down, You'll then progress into a combo of, say, two slow motion pull-unders. And then one regular speed. 
When you get to the regular speed, the cues that I need you to use are shoulders back and then down. Step one is shoulders, just like in the slow motion version, but you're putting it all together. Okay, perfect. All right, so obviously that's with the snatch, but you can do this exact same sequence with the clean, but I'm gonna have Chad take his mic off so that he doesn't hit the mic, and we're gonna demo that. All right, now that we got Chad's mic off, we're gonna go through that exact same sequence, but with your clean grip. Now, same principles apply. He's gonna start tall. He's gonna start with that lean back and then go nice and slow, breaking at the elbows and the knees at the same time into the full clean position. And then well, let's do that one more time just so they can see that. And then we'll do the full speed one. Again, making sure the shoulders down like we talked about, bending the elbows and the knees at the same time. And let's show a poor one where the elbows are moving too soon like we talked about, we don't wanna see the arms pulling first. We want that simultaneous pull. So we'll do a correct one now at the full speed, starting with the lean back, and then the elbows and knees bend at the same time. One more time, perfect, there we go. So again, the pull under can be an extremely helpful drill at uh, allowing you to get better speed and coordination and timing underneath the barbell. But like we said, it has to start with the idea that you have a good starting position and end position. So if you don't have a good end position because maybe you have a mobility restriction, you need to address that first before then trying these. But once you have that good mobility down, this can be an excellent drill at improving both of your lifts. So uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by the YouTube channel. First and foremost, go follow Chad on YouTube. He's linked below. Second, send this video to all your friends that do snatches and cleans, weightlifters, crossfitters alike. This can be a very beneficial drill. Let's spread the awareness of this motion and I'll try it and see how uh, our lifts improve. Third, go and subscribe to the Squat University YouTube channel. If you have not yet, we have a ton of content coming out on Olympic lifting specifically for you guys to benefit and uh, see some improved performance. Um, so again, if you guys have any questions for Chad and I, let us know in the comments section below. And until next time, guys, happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching? So caught up in their egos, these people.